Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. All right. I'm recording this Monday night after I've just did my Donald Trump and Kamala Harris's next three weeks. Because um, a thought came in about Joe Biden with uh, the Kamala Harris reading. And I want to do on, do this reading now while I'm, A, remembering to do it. And B, I'm just kind of feeling like I'm in a little bit of a zone here with it. And it, uh, the cards took me to Biden. So I'll go ahead and record this video with the intention of putting it up uh, uh, Wednesday morning rather than Tuesday morning. Okay. So in the previous reading with Kamala Harris, I was getting a three of coins card the, uh, the week of the election. And I was hitting on it that, you know, plans being made to address civil unrest that will come. At, and not only that, but how to fight these court cases uh, as they come through here. So I want to look at Joe Biden and the Department of Justice and how they plan on handling the period of time between the ele between election night and inauguration day okay this will be a, a kind of a broad overarching uh, uh reading here but let's just see what the general vibe is looking like okay so entertainment purposes only we're going to take a look at this and for those folks who ask it's hard to type it up all the time obsidian point rose quartz prehnite sodalite this is rutilated quartz with black tourmaline in it snowflake obsidian this is a tumbled amethyst, carnelian, and a shoral, which is basically a black tourmaline tower. And off to the side, we have a nice piece of uh, polished uh, malachite. Okay, there. Crystals have been identified. <laughs> Let's see what the reading has in store for us. Uh, Joe Biden, what are we going to do about elect and Department of Justice about keeping the peace after the election? <laughs> I like it. Foundational reading is the justice card. There are probably going to be a number of announcements about maintaining peace and calm and, you know, reminders of uh, what happens to people who incite insurrection and sedition in this country. There's, I would expect there's going to be a larger law enforcement presence and there's probably going to be ad campaigns uh that would be out there public service ad campaigns out there encouraging people to remain calm you know patriotic stuff that we're americans and uh voting has been something we've been doing for 250 years and both sides win and lose elections that kind of thing yeah, it's going to be advertised. There's going to be an advertising campaign. It's they are going to go over the airwaves, you know, radio, television, uh, uh, social media, and they're going to move quickly on this one because you have to move quickly because Trump is going to say it was an injustice, and he's going to be broadcasting on True Social about the injustices of it all. So the the you know truth can't lie in bed while Trump is spreading his lies. So you have to counteract the lies as quickly as you can. In the past, you got the star card came up right underneath Kamala Harris in the center of her signifiers. Um, Kamala Harris wins the election. Best of America, we've uh, reached a turning point. We've basically kept our democracy for at least another two years, and people have chosen joy over anger and hatred and um, and uh, violence, if you will, chaos. Current situation, uh, the Eight of Swords. Um, in some ways, it's freeing up law enforcement to do what they need to do. Uh, I'm sure there will be attacks, verbal and whatnot, on election workers, poll workers, people who are innocent of, of what's happened. There's been assault certainly on women and women's rights, but I think this is also taking the, the um, uh, Ruby and Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman type of thing. Got to protect these people too. They're innocent in this one. They didn't ask for this. They're just being uh, helping out their community. 
overarching energy is the emperor. See, I do think the messaging, the messaging for the government is going to be, you know, Kamala Harris wins. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, it's not okay to take away other people's rights. And again, the, the big the big message here is you took away women's rights. This is not what Biden is saying. This is kind of like, here's here's the background here. You take away women's rights and women got activated. Congratulations, you did this to yourself. Uh, and women are going to take care of themselves. They're going to take care of other women in their life. And I don't think they're going to stop. Something about having long memories, <laughs> not forgetting, not going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you had to F around. <laughs> now you found out. <laughs> how did, how'd that, how'd that suit you? And then <laughs> the outcome was women celebrating. Um, you know, in some ways, this is a fair election. We find out quickly, Harris wins. You t and the reason why she won, you took away women's rights. Women rallied. They let you know how it was. Women are celebrating. They're rejecting Trump, asking about Biden, getting the message out <laughs> that when Harris wins, that you're not allowed to take away other people's rights. This is America. We've we've been taking we've been taking care of of all of our citizens, not just ones that uh, wear red baseball caps. And you break the law, you'll do the time. And you know, basically. Let the, the Democrats are holding all three houses here. From Trump's point of view, this was stolen, rigged election. Um, you know, his star has fallen, and now he's kind of stuck. He doesn't know what to do because, um, you know, on the one hand, you know, with Stormy Daniels and all, uh, women are take basically women have taken him down. Women have taken him down, and there's. Not much he can do to instigate further violence against women. Not that he won't try, mind you. But, you know, it's, it's, there might be women who are a little bit more stern with their husbands this time. You know, so maybe some of the ones that went to uh, the Ellipse four years ago and didn't get arrested. You know, they managed to scrub their social media. Maybe they didn't post up videos of themselves up there. That sort of thing. <laughs> and they think they're going to go again. I think their wives, uh, girlfriends, mothers, sisters are going to have some daughters are going to have something to say to them about that. Um, will, uh, will the Biden administration, Department of Justice, and uh, those folks do a, a be successful in maintaining the peace mind you you if somebody's hell-bent on uh on being a jerk there's not much you no know, not much you can do about it until they break the law and then you can arrest them and hold them accountable for it but the thing is you can't really arrest them before they break the law unless it's a conspiracy then you can and he's back over here trying to steal her food. What are you doing? Stop. That's her food. He's such a naughty cat. Pardon me for a second. You stop stealing her food. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. <sighs> Hang on. All right. We have moved... The cat over on a chair next to me, you can see little blue, little green eyes, <laughs> bink, bink, just sticking out there. Okay, so the question was, will Biden and uh, the Department of Justice be successful in uh, ma mostly maintaining the peace? Well, they basically have a successful run of it. See, now you can see, mostly see the cat. Two of Wands, they're planning. They've got their plans, they're... Uh, Looking forward over the next couple of months after the election to get through January. Oh, they got big plans. <laughs> they've, they've, they've already started the planning. It's the implementation that's going on there. And again, there's the double card underneath it. Because underneath it, they know Trump is going to be causing problems. 
and they're they're well aware of it. Planning has already started. Plans, are, you know, things are being put into place. The cat is jumping up on the mat and flopping down in a fit of drama. Hi. Oh, look, mom's here. You gonna go say hello? He is like this. Mm. Let me pause. Now we'll get you, give you both cats on the chair. If only for a brief moment. Okay, so plans are in place to combat uh, what Trump and his, uh, his cronies are going to be doing. Um, in the past, you got the Four of Wands. <laughs> Opening day. They, they've been, they're ready to go. They've, they've had plans put in place, you know, for the last four years, they've gotten ready for this. They are not, they are not going to let what happened in 2020 happen in 2024. That's not happening. I've lost all the cats. Yeah. <laughs> Current situation, the sun card. Oh, they've got plans and they're going to unveil those plans. And those are big plans. The biggest plans, the shiniest plans, plans like you've never seen before. Plans, you know, the biggest plans, the biggest crowd sizes ever type thing. Um, good Lord, I've got the one, the two, the three, and the four in here. And the overarching energy is not only do they have the plans in place, but these plans, not only have they been implemented over time, but these plans are flexible. They're watching. They're watching to see how the plans unfold, and they will be able to make adjustments on the fly. The lesson to be learned is Joe Biden is now the king. All hail the king. Joe Biden will, you know what? There's that article I, saw, I told you I saw that says, will Biden take advantage of his kingly powers? Biden is going to rule his last two months as president when it comes to the security of uh, this vote. He is going to rule. And I think... He's going to enjoy it. He might allow himself just that little bit of, a little taste of dictatorship. You know, just a little nibble. Because, you know, he, he saw what happened in 2020 and he is sure as hell is not going to let that happen again. And that was a card that came up with Kamala Harris. Um, the Three of Coins. Um... There, yeah, uh, expect, you know, law enforcement, the National Guard, the intelligence agencies, they're all working together on this plan. This is not just, this is not going to be some disjointed uh, hodgepodge plan. This is something that has been planned out. It will be enacted. And I'm sure there will be communicated uh, that you have a choice to be a patriot or a criminal. And criminals will be prosecuted. And, you know, uh, again, I think Joe Biden is going to, not so much grow a spine, but I think he's going to be a hard ass. You know, for for all the crap that the, the Republicans have put him through and all the garbage that Trump has fed to people, this is going to be that no-nonsense kind of moment. Because we all know Joe's got a temper on him. And I think... He's going to have enough of the shenanigans. We'll see how that pans out. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. This reading is for entertainment purposes only, but I do hope you found it insightful, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.